guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anissa. For those of you who don't know me, um, for those of you who do, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a quick get ready with me um, video. I'm going to be discussing um, quite some interesting things. The first thing that I'm, I'm, I want to discuss is like the Love is Blind season two reunion. For those of you who have not watched um, Love is Blind season two, I am so, so sorry. There are some spoilers. And if you haven't watched the reunion yet, again, I'm sorry, um, but I gotta talk about it. For those of you who may not recall, only two couples got married and that is Ayana and Jarrett and um, Danielle and Nick. And there were other people that got engaged as well. Um, but they weren't shown on camera, so I don't know if like they ended up getting married or if their engagement just ended up like being like a little bit long. They are still together, um, which I'm like kind of like happy about because for a moment, I mean, as if you watched it, you, you saw it as well. There just was no way of like telling if they were like going to like stay together, if they were going to like get divorced or if they were like even going to get married like at all and like Jared you know he had that whole thing with like Mallory where like he was going to like propose to her first and then like she said no and then he was like okay well I'm gonna propose to Ayana to me that's like that still doesn't sit right with me like even though it's like it's been almost a year since I guess they filmed or whatever if somebody like were to propose to me like after they proposed to like somebody else i would not i would not have said yes to them because i'm no one's second choice and like i know that like ayana like struggled with that they ended up talking about it they ended up you know like yeah staying together and you know he reassured her that you know she was like the one like she was his choice I still don't believe it and I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't still believe it but I am happy for them if they were able to like work through certain things then hey like anything is possible and like the same thing goes for like Danielle and Nick because Danielle you know she had a lot of anxiety um going into you know the process and everything and she was just like questioning everything when the show aired like there were definitely like moments where like I was just thinking, okay, um, you really should not be questioning whether or not this man has like feelings for you because like he has shown you time and time again that he wants to be with you. But then I like think about like my own self and like how I've questioned myself like in certain relationships because you know, some things just seem too good to be true. Some things just seemed like they were not real just because like I wasn't used to like certain experiences or like how you know people treated me in terms of, like you know being treated with love and respect that in itself can cause you to like question yourself no matter where you are like in your self-love journey or like where you are you know with your confidence like you're gonna have moments where you're gonna be like is this real like so I wasn't like too harsh you know in judging Danielle um, I know a lot of people were, you know, judging her based off of, you know, what was shown and everything. And I am absolutely glad that, you know, Nick and Danielle decided to like go to couples therapy to like, you know, resolve like some of their, their issues and stuff. One thing that I really appreciated about Nick was that like he said that you know he is the type that wants to fix everything and Danielle expressed that you know sometimes like she doesn't want you know Nick to fix everything like she just wants him to like listen to her and like be that like safe space for her um so I'm glad like they were able to like go to therapy like I am definitely like an advocate for therapy whether you are in a relationship or whether you are single, like therapy definitely helps and it definitely um, can help you like figure stuff out. Um, no matter where you are in life, I feel like you should definitely like have somebody to talk to that's like not your friends or like not your family. Um, 
but like I myself like I go to a therapist and it has been like the best thing like ever that's like I said the whole thing with like Ayana Jared and Mallory um you know Nick and Vanessa the host like they talked about you know they asked like Ayana like how she felt during you know watching like those scenes and everything and you know she expressed like some really good points like she expressed like how you know she did not like I won't say blame Mallory but like she wasn't like angry at Mallory you know for like the situation like happening like she definitely like held Jared accountable which is something that like people should do more of and what I mean by that is is that like when you know when there's somebody else in like the picture like you definitely like people have like this tendency to um want to blame the other person instead of the person that they're with and like you know it kind of like shifts the blame and like you know holding that person like accountable and stuff like that like yes that other person did like have a part in like whatever situation that is but like at the same time you need to hold your your partner accountable because like at the end of the day they are supposed to be committed to you and you know um fortunately for like i said for jared and ayana like they like they worked that out um jared took responsibility of you know what happened even though like mallory kind of like try to like put like brush it off and like say that like oh um this was like this was just like a conversation um and you know i was like overwhelmed and stuff like that and like my thing is is that like you know you said no to this person so why are you flirting with them like that that makes no sense if i said no to somebody that proposed to me i'm not gonna be all up in their face you know joking with them about how my current partner got me the wrong color or the wrong like metal for like my ring like if anything like there's a difference between like being cordial with somebody and then like being flirtatious with somebody. If you like watch the clip, like you can definitely see that like they were definitely like flirting. And like, I just didn't appreciate like Mallory saying that like, oh, she had two shots because she was nervous. Like she was like, you know, put in an awkward position. And I was just like, girl, that, no, that, that was terrible. But I also didn't appreciate when, um, Jared told Sal that it was a joke. Why would you joke about, you know, somebody else's fiance getting them the wrong kind of ring? You just don't do that. Like, you know, if anything, like if it was like a joke, like a joke joke and you got rejected, like you would probably be like, you know, oh, like you rejected me, ha ha. Like that, not like, oh well if i if i were your man like you would definitely have a gold ring like that that's i i call bs on on jared and mallory trying to like you know downplay the situation it was a lot of like back and forth like at the reunion like in terms of like you know how the situation like went down because like jared told ayana and the host like yeah, this, the conversation was inappropriate and I had, you know, like I take full responsibility for it. And then, you know, to Sal, he was just like, I mean, I, I was just joking. I was just like, bro, just tell him the same thing that you told your wife and the host that it was inappropriate which he does but like the whole it was a joke thing like it kind of just rubbed me the wrong way but like mallory i don't like i don't think she took like full accountability for it like blaming saying that you were drunk or that you had shots or whatever because you were nervous and whatnot and that you were put in a very awkward situation my thing was this like everybody gets nervous everybody you know does things but there are certain things that you just don't say it have just been a conversation where you were just wishing the other person the best not talking about well oh if you were with me like you would have a gold ring just say i don't know yeah i wasn't really feeling mallory and based on sal's like behavior or body language towards mallory like it definitely seemed like 
Mallory did something like to Sal, like that we just that we just don't know about. Like it's definitely giving me like cheater vibes because like again, like she was flirting in front of both Jared. Like wait, she was she was flirting in front of like Ayana and Sal, who were like you know y'all's fiancés, and I'm just like girl like if you really wanted jared like you should have said yes but i feel like the reason why well i'm not going to get into the reason why i thought um mallory said no to jared i'm just gonna leave it at that <laughs> so um sorry i'm trying to get my concealer together i don't think that um Jared and Mallory should have had that conversation and like I said like it seemed like Jared took I just wish Jared took accountability for like his partner but I just wish like Mallory did too because like you just don't do that you really don't well I wish everybody the best um again like my heart like low-key breaks for Sal just because like like I said like his his whole demeanor like toward again towards Mallory like indicated that something happened between them that was more than just like the whole situation with uh um Jared and like the ex showing up at you know his sister's place or whatever which I thought was like really really strange but he like I appreciated that he was like you know I'm not gonna like air out my dirty laundry but I think something definitely happened I like I said I feel like she did something and I don't I just don't think she was like really ready for like marriage or just dating in general I don't think she's ready for that period Natalie and Shane they end up splitting I mean of course Natalie said no um they try to get back together and try dating um after the show but that didn't work out they had that huge argument before the wedding she said like that changed everything I guess like what stood out to me the most was that like when um when Shane was like you know I don't like how you try to like make me out to be the bad guy when like you have driven me like to that point and like Natalie she was just like she was like well I mean no I mean yes I mean but you know I mean I take full responsibility of like you know what I did like to make you mad and make you feel like you're not good enough and everything and like Shane was like I guess relieved because like he in that moment like I'm not gonna lie like I low-key felt bad for Shane like sometimes we forget that like other people have feelings too especially like when we're dealing with them in relationships and that's really 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 important to recognize and acknowledge like your partner's feelings and to like make sure that they are reassured and make sure that they feel good and everything because like everything is not about us you know that's like one of the things that i have like learned like in my friendships and relationships these people have feelings too and i think sometimes like we disregard like how they feel or anything maybe because of like past trauma even in the relationship like if somebody did something and you were just like yeah, I don't trust you now so like you just you just don't listen to like anything that they have to say and like like it hurts them you know and like even though like your feelings are valid like in that situation too like you have to like also make sure that you are you know still communicating with that person and also like checking in to see how they feel because like you know and then doing so doesn't like negate like how you feel in that situation it just gives you a bigger understanding of like the situation like trying to like see everything from like all you know all sides of everything so so yeah um so Shane and Natalie did not work out Shana the whole time was just like squinty she like she looked like tr like like Trump or like what is that guy from Monsters Inc like just squinting i'm just like girl i'm like either you can't see or you're trying to be shady because like you know you're just i feel like shana was kind of just like you know reveling in that moment between natalie and and shane 
because she called their relationship fake you know she felt like she was the one for for shane and whatnot and like i was just like mm, okay like i don't i didn't think that, that was appropriate there were a lot of things that happened in that reunion that like was not appropriate like shake kept talking over everybody and trying to make a point and trying to make him like like make himself look good and look like this like this guru and whatnot and like you could tell that like every time like he spoke he like every everyone just like rolled their eyes and they were just like so annoyed and everything because like after the show like after you know i have to backtrack after deep d said no like shake tried to play it off like it's okay like like you know when you get like stood up at the altar like you're you're just like okay like i don't know what to do now like you try to save face and whatnot and like i feel like when you try to do that like it just doesn't it doesn't like help you out in the long run it really doesn't um if anything like it just makes you look bad because even after the show shake was like going on instagram talking about like how he was like made to look bad because of the editing how you know he is a real person you know pretty much how the show was fake and then like even on the show he was just like he was just like he was like we didn't come here for you know love to find a wife like we came here for love and everybody was just looking at him like isn't that what you're supposed to do like you're supposed to find love you're supposed to find a wife like like what else would you be on here for you know what show that he should be on too hot to handle he should be on too hot to handle because of two reasons one if he's like so into looks i feel like him being like on that show would probably like humble him in a way but also like it will like i feel like that's like that's more of his niche like no pressure to get married no like no nothing you just can't have sex like that's that's literally it and you have to win money that's literally like the premise of the show um too hot to handle would definitely be a show for shake but then you know for someone who like said so much about like deep d and like or anybody and you know their appearance and everything i'm just like bro like low-key you're not like a looker either you know like how dare you try to bring somebody down just because you don't feel better about yourself also got to point out too is that like with these girls like what was it deep deep and danielle they both like lost weight kind of know like how it feels to like gain weight and date but like to also lose that weight and date i haven't experienced it yet like knock on wood like i'm trying to like lose weight but like you know there's like a difference in like how people like treat you and whatnot but there's also like this this moment that you go through like yourself where you're just like you're now getting, you're re-getting to know yourself and you know, you're like rebuilding your confidence and whatnot. And so I feel like, you know, Deep D, Deep D especially, um, I feel like Danielle has too, but I feel like, you know, they have like reached that point in their, in their lives where like they feel good about themselves and they're just like, okay, I'm ready to like take on this next chapter of my life, which is like marriage. And like, you know, nobody wants to deal with a person that makes them like feel the way that they felt, however they felt, like prior to like them like reaching that point of like self-love. And like for just to let you guys know, just to let you guys know, like I'm not um saying that like if you lose weight, like you'll that means that you love yourself. Or if you gain weight, that means that you don't love yourself. Like that means nothing like at all. The two are not related like at all. But what I'm saying is that like psychologically, like you go through this process like on either side where like you like you either lose confidence 
or you gain confidence or like you just deal with like different things and like other people's like attitudes like in those like stages of your life that it does affect your self-esteem um i hope that makes sense i had like worked so hard to get to a place mentally spiritually physically and like i am happy i have peace i have joy why would i want to be with somebody who knocks me down to like that place they may not know where i was but like why would i be with someone who knocks me down to that place you know what i mean i'm proud of bb yeah i guess i would say i'm proud of danielle and nick um again because like with danielle i feel like she's still like trying to like figure herself out um and nick is patient with her we all need somebody who's like patient with us because we are all not perfect. And to have someone who is patient with us, you know, besides Jesus, you know, like that, that says a lot. And I pray that like, she like, she sees, you know, how great of a partner that she has and how patient, you know, he is with her. Hopefully that like that motivates her to, you know, keep to keep going and to like really like start seeing herself like as a beautiful person both inside and out so i think dp will be fine i can still tell that like it was very hurtful for her to go through that because you know shake is shake is a jerk that's the nicest thing that I could probably say about him, but like his whole attitude throughout the show was just like, just terrible. Kyle and Shayna, I don't really want to talk about because like Shayna just gave like so many excuses as to like why she couldn't date Kyle. You know, she tried to say, she was like, you gave me your mother's engagement ring. Like who does that? And I'm just like someone who thinks that you are super special, special enough to like, the you know the the new owner of like that heirloom like that's not that's not manipulative like she said that it was manipulative and i was just like no being manipulative is like you like accepting the proposal and then going back to your ex and being like i have deep feelings for you like you just don't do that you really don't Shayna was just like super weird. She kept squinting. She kept like just doing stupid stuff. Just, just stupid stuff. And I'm just like, girl, like why? Like, why would you do that? Shayna was just giving me like really bad vibes, even like throughout the show. Like, you know, like I said, like she, Went back to Shane and she was like, I still have feelings for you. And then, you know, Shane, Shane was no better. He was like, why didn't you tell me like before? Which I thought was odd because I was just thinking to myself, like, why would you, why would you say something like that? Because then that tells, that shows Natalie, as you will see on the reunion, that like, you didn't like, you didn't choose her. Like, she wasn't the one that you wanted. And, like, that's so disturbing. And, like, she tried to use God, like, to justify, like, her her actions. And I'm just like, bro, you, you just don't do that. I feel like that was just, that was just horrible. Like, horrible on, like, both sides. But, you know, it is what it is. Like, whatever happens between them two or other people. Well, actually, I can't say that because I read somewhere that um, Shayna is in a serious relationship with somebody and I don't, I don't think it's Shane. Definitely don't think it's Shane. Um, Kyle, I kind of feel bad for because like he like it just seemed like he was like really like in like in it like with the process and everything 
And like he gave his mother's engagement ring. Like that is that is very special. Like for Shanna to say that like that was like manipulative and whatnot, I think that was like super wrong of her because like that's super special. <laughs> There's nothing manipulative about someone like giving like a family heirloom to your significant other. Mallory and Sal. Um, like I said, I feel bad for Sal. And what was it? She said herself that like she's like a guy's girl and like she um you know that's what like attracts her to men and like vice versa and whatnot. During the honeymoon scene, um, or the honeymoon episodes or whatever, I saw like everybody play like beach volleyball and whatnot, right? So I saw like how much she was like interacting with like um, Nick and um, Shane. Um, I'm just gonna say it. Um, I feel like Mallory did not, you know, I feel like Mallory said no to Jared because of cultural differences. You can take that however you want, it's fine. That's not a bad thing, but at the same time, like it kind of is. Cause it's just like, you know, I feel like, you know, and no, I'm not, I'm not calling her racist or anything, but I'm just saying like, you know, people's families really do be like that. She values her family's opinions a lot. Like, she, like she was torn when her family didn't really make it except for her sister and her friends. Like they were not open to this process. So I feel like because of that, it definitely gives me like traditional vibe. She chose Sal because like he was the safest choice, even though like she connected with Jared more. And even with their connection, like I feel like it was definitely like more of like a surface level. Like they would definitely be like, like they would be like a fun, like playful co couple, but like they wouldn't be like anything serious because of like, again, culture differences. I feel like Mallory like kind of like forced herself to accept what was safe, what was, you know, acceptable in the eyes of like her friends and her family and like you know i honestly feel like again she also needs to figure out like what it is that she really wants that's just that day like sal seemed like more true to himself than mallory was and i feel like that's probably why like their relationship did not work out overall like this season of like love is blind was very interesting and I know like a lot of people, they were just like, you know, oh, this season was horrible. It was nothing like the first season. I have to like disagree with that because, you know, on this first season, we definitely have some hot mess people, AKA Carlton. We had people like on, on season one who were terrible. Carlton, Jessica, like, like, I love Giannina, but, and, and Damien was cool too, but like, they were hot messes as well. I think like people kind of forgot about that. And like, they just like ran with like saying that like Love is Blind season one was like so much better because like, you know, Lauren and Cameron. Like, I love Lauren and Cameron. I really do. Um, but to really say that like, you know, oh, like, we had all the love they were genuine and everything like yeah that's true but like i feel like we also had like some people in season two who were like ready and stuff like that i feel like that crew was definitely a little bit older so like they have like a little bit more life experience and what i mean by that is like even though well there's some people some people were like 35 36 or whatever some people were like you know my age like 29 like 28 or whatever and like we had that here in in season two, but I feel like the difference between like season one and season two is that I feel like the people, yeah, they, they were definitely younger and they were more a part of the younger millennials, if that makes sense. And what I mean by that is, is that like, if you look at Twitter, if you look at like anybody like on social media or whatever, like how like we like younger millennials like view relationships, it's like, yes, we want that, that marriage, that like, that you know serious relationship that that forever love or whatever 
but child i told my boyfriend i was like low-key this is low-key a reflection of like our generation honestly because like we have people who have like you know who are dealing with like mental issues and who are dealing with like trauma and everything and like we want certain things out of life because like that's like the next steps to take but like we may not be truly ready for it and it shows so you know it's no fault i mean it just seemed like yeah like everybody on season one they were definitely like ready some weren't um some were if anything like i just saw a reflection of like what a dating life looked like for a millennial and like i couldn't be mad like honestly but like i'm not gonna sit here and be like oh like these people are so crazy like they're definitely not ready for love like i am ready for love when you get into like a serious relationship or you like take that leap of faith you definitely like learn about yourself like same with like married at first sight you definitely like learn about yourself and like what you thought you dealt with and what you still need to work on and it's just like you know at the end of the day we we are human we all have things to work on and stuff like that so I can't judge like the people on season two, um, honestly. If anything, I can relate to them more than season one because like everybody seemed like on season one seemed more established. The only person that like I really related to like from season one or two people were Diamond and Giannina. You know, like I loved everybody else, but like those two people, like I definitely like related to more like on certain like levels and stuff like that so i hope you guys have enjoyed this chit chat let me know what you guys think um we ain't gotta agree we could agree to disagree let me know your thoughts be sure to like comment and subscribe and i appreciate you guys so much for watching bye